If you're like most people, when you think tornado, you picture the visible funnel cloud that descends from the storm to the ground. You might also think that if the funnel doesn't touch the ground, it's not a tornado. In this video, we'll take a look at several real-world examples that show why both of these beliefs are wrong. The official definition of a tornado is a rapidly rotating column of air under a thunderstorm attached to the base of the cloud and in contact with the ground. Did you catch that? A tornado is a circulation of air. It's the fast moving air in this circulation that makes a tornado. And since air is normally invisible, you don't need a funnel reaching the ground or even a funnel at all to have a tornado. The funnel cloud is a secondary feature of a tornado that usually is there, but not always. Let's look at some real funnels and tornadoes. You might see this funnel and think that it's got a long way to go to become a tornado. But look closer at the ground. See that? That's the same circulation of air starting to kick up a debris cloud. This mostly invisible circulation of air continues from the cloud all the way to the ground, making it a tornado by definition. In reality, this tornado's damaging circulation of air looks something like this. This circulation of air is invisible unless one of two things happen. Either the funnel begins filling in, or there is enough visible debris on the ground for the tornado to pick up. Let's watch some more examples. Look at the ground underneath this funnel. That's debris kicking up from the strong circulation at ground level. This tornado's circulation is continuous from the ground all the way up into the storm cloud. There is still strong rotating air in between the funnel and the ground. It's just invisible. Most tornadoes have some or a lot of this invisible rotating air, especially right at the start of their life cycle. This tornado in Oklahoma didn't have a funnel reaching the surface, but it had a faintly visible circulation on the ground that was still very strong. Don't believe it? Look what happened when that circulation hit this outbuilding. This tornado didn't have a funnel or even a debris cloud, but it was still picking up entire trees and lofting them hundreds of feet into the air. Right there. And that's not all. The damaging circulation of air doesn't end at the edge of the funnel. It can extend for a large distance around it. This tornado in Kansas removed the roof of a house even though the funnel was still some distance away. And look how much larger the debris cloud is on this tornado than the funnel above it. The debris cloud can be better than a funnel at showing the true size of the tornado circulation. So what does all this mean? It's not common knowledge that many well-developed funnels under the base of thunderstorms have damaging circulations of air at ground level, making them tornadoes by definition. For you to be able to see these normally invisible circulations, there needs to be a lot of material for the tornado to pick up on the ground to form a visible debris cloud. Sometimes an occasional subvortex will condense and make the tornado circulation visible near the ground. It's easiest to see a debris cloud when a tornado moves over loose or dry dirt that can be easily lofted into the air. A field of grass or planted crops might not have enough material for the tornado to pick up, which will make it harder to see. Like this example. Unless you were close like this, you wouldn't see these little wisps and whirls of condensation that show that a damaging circulation is there at the ground. So think of a tornado as an invisible zone of damaging winds that extends far below and far outside of the actual funnel cloud. Picture the funnel is just a small part of a much larger circulation of air that might already be on the ground. And again, there might not be a funnel at all. A rapidly rotating wall cloud like this one might already have a tornadic circulation at ground level. So what's the takeaway? Don't assume that a funnel that's not reaching the ground isn't dangerous. If a funnel is well developed and persistent, there's a good chance it already has a circulation at the ground, making it a tornado. And if you're watching a tornado that has a funnel occasionally reaching the ground, just because that funnel lifts doesn't mean that the tornado is gone. The circulation of air is usually still there and capable of damage. Many tornado funnels can come and go even while the circulation remains constant on the ground. 
How much of a funnel you see depends on a combination of the humidity of the air going into the tornado and how strong the pressure drop is. This means you can have strong tornadoes with narrow funnels or weak tornadoes with large funnels. If the air feeding into the tornado is dry enough, you might only see a small funnel or none at all. It's common for the beginning stages of a tornado under a rapidly rotating wall cloud to be invisible, and many times the debris cloud on the ground is the first sign of a tornado. Recent research has suggested that most tornadoes start from the ground up. This is Dan Robinson with StormHighway.com. Stay tuned for more severe weather facts, explainers, and videos from the field.